We begin in Egypt, where a criminal court has sentenced a former Egyptian president, Mohamed Morsi, and 19 others to three years in prison. The court also fined Morsi about $112,000 on charges of insulting the judiciary. Others, including Egyptian activist Ala Abdel Fattah and lawmaker and television presenter Tofik Okasha, were instead given fines ranging from 30,000 to 1 million Egyptian pounds. The verdicts, though, can still be appealed. Mohamed Morsi was overthrown in mid-2013 by then-General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, who is now the president of the country. Morsi is now serving a 20-year sentence after being convicted of inciting the killing of protesters during demonstrations in 2012 and a 25-year sentence for spying for Qatar. Well, let's get to you more details now on these latest developments. I'm joined live from uh, Cairo by CGTN's Abdel uh, Maruki. Uh, Adele, just to begin with, what more do we know about this case and the merits of the charges leveled against former President Morsi? Well, former President Mohamed Morsi has been accused of inciting the judiciary in several um, instances, the first of which is actually when he was president, uh, when he ruled Egypt uh, for um, a period of almost one year, in one of his public speeches, he has um, clearly named one judge and accused that judge of corruption, naming him on public television. Uh, this was the first instant. At that time, no court cases were filed against the former president. It wasn't until the Egyptian military ousted uh, Mohamed Morsi in 2013 that the, the court cases have started to be filed against him. Uh, and the other um, inciting um, the judiciary um, uh, accusations come along the process of his um, um, uh, imprisonment and his rejection uh, to submit to the court's authority, um, claiming that he is still the legitimate president uh, of Egypt and therefore he should not stand before a regular court. That's mainly the main uh, reason for that. That's why he has been charged, sentenced for three years, as you said, and, um, uh, and um, have to pay, he has to pay about two Egyptian million dollars. That's the $112,000 accused. Now, this is the Mohammed Morsi as one uh, former president and one of the leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, in the same case, there are numerous um, politicians, um, some of them from the opposition um, to um, the current administration. Uh, so the, the court case is not just specifically against the Muslim Brotherhood members. The inciting judiciary is a very broad court case that includes almost the most significant uh, opposition figures in the country. Well, Adele, as we know, uh, Mohamed Morsi has faced a number of charges uh, in the past. Are there any more court cases still outstanding? And just how many years behind bars now is he facing cumulatively? Well, the only um, sentence that has been confirmed finally, there, are, there cannot be any further appeal uh, for that um, um, uh, court sentence, is 20 years in prison for accusations of being involvement in the attack uh, of um, peaceful protests at the presidential palace when Morsi was um, president. He has been sentenced for 20 years um, and he has filed for an appeal, but the court has rejected that appeal. Now, today's uh, three years sentence and previously he has um, uh, been sentenced for a life in prison for accusations uh, of fleeing a prison and um, a death penalty, a death penalty for fleeing the prison charges and a life sentence for espionage case. Um, and But all of these are still subject um, to appeal. Some of them have been, um, the appeals have been accepted and are um, due to resume or to a retrial will uh, start next year. And, and, and probably in February. Um, the charges are espionage uh, with uh, the state of Qatar and leaking um, state classified information to Qatar. Um, uh, uh, another espionage case with the Palestinian Gaza based group Hamas, um, through which um, the former president is accused of collaborating with Hamas, inciting them um, to um, conduct hostile incidents and attacks against um, the country, allowing them and giving them access into the country to hold these um, attacks. Um, the protesters' case has been sealed and final. There's inciting the judiciary as well. And this is just what is going on right now. There are some um, lawyers who have a claim to be preparing more um, court cases against the former president. Well, thank you so much for that, Adel Al-Muruki, live for us there in Cairo.